Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk and in today's mixing tips video we are going to look at easy gain staging. Now, if you have watched any of the episodes of my Studio One 4.5 series, you will have seen that I have covered gain, uh, gain staging a wee bit and uh, I'm going to kind of amplify and expand that a wee bit um, because because of the new uh, features with the input gain controls and all of that in Studio One 4.5, my uh, workflow for gain staging has changed uh, quite a bit. What I used to do was I used to play the track from uh, start to finish and I'd have it on a loop and then what I would do is um, I would have to flip between the mixer view, which is this console view here, and the arrange view here, uh, so that I could basically check what the levels were uh, and trying to get my gain to be peaking at around about minus 12 dB FS. So uh, that's what I would try and do. So I would use a combination of pulling these little gray boxes here. And uh, as I'm pulling those down, I'd be going back over to this mixer and having a look to see what it was peaking at and all of that. And it would be, I'd be constantly doing this all the time um, to check what my levels were. And I got pretty quick at it, but it's not necessarily the fastest and easiest way to gain stage especially if you have a lot of a lot of um, audio in your in your song in this case I've only got six channels but you know let's say I've got 36 or 46 or more channels of audio this is gonna get antsy very quickly and uh, that's not good it's not a good way to, to, to start your mixing workflow so uh, with Studio One 4.5, all of that is now changed. So I'm just going to show you how that has changed for me and how, even if I have a lot of channels of audio, I can do this real quick. One thing that hasn't changed is I keep the song on repeat. I keep it on a loop, like I have here. Um, but I am not necessarily actually listening to the music. Uh, I know that sounds kind of intuitive and counterproductive, but I'm not necessarily listening to it. I'm actually looking at the metering here because what we now have with Studio One 4.5 is we have the pre-fader metering option. And this is what I now use in conjunction with the new input gain controls. So I'll use a mixture of the, the, uh, the, the boxes in the gain controls here on the actual event and these input controls until I see what I'm looking for using the pre-fader metering which means I can have all these channels set to zero which is what I've got right here and uh, it means that gain staging is very very quick for me now so even if I've got lots of audio channels here I'm not constantly having to do this which is annoying <laughs> to say the least but as with most things you get used to a workaround until the workaround becomes redundant and obsolete, which is good. So uh, what we have now in Studio One 4.5, it to me is invaluable and uh, makes my life so much easier. And it actually makes this aspect of setting up the mix a lot more actually enjoyable. Before it was a chore and I would quite often, I know this sounds crazy, but I would quite often just put it off because uh, I didn't really want to have to be doing it because it was clumsy and clunky, but now it isn't. It is not clumsy nor clunky. It's really, really cool. So, now that I've got all of that out of the way, let me show you how I run this. So, I'm going to hit play and you are not going to hear a thing. But we are going to get to see these guys peeking away. And I'm using a combination of the pre-fader metering and the peak RMS metering. And that means I can just silently watch these guys and I can say, ah, look at these. These guys, the drums and the bass, are peaking closer to minus six. That means these guys need to come down. So I'm going to turn these down a little bit more. And now the drums are much closer to that minus 12 kind of area, which is where I want it. Let's do the bass.
Okay, good. Let's have a look at guitar one. Guitar one, I think, just needs to come down just a hair, just maybe a dB. Let's have a look at guitar two. Guitar two is good. Hammond. Yeah, Hammond is good. Let's have a look at the horns, because I think these are a culprit. Yep, these are going way over. So let's turn these down quite a bit as well. A little bit more. Okay, and I think we're good. I think we're good. So I'm going to stop there. Now, I would repeat this and all the way down the line with all of my audio in my session, regardless of how many how many channels of audio I have. In this case, this took very this took hardly any time. It was very very quick because I've only got six channels of audio, um, and so multiply that down the line. It's pretty quick. And now what I can do is I can get these back up to uh, Unity Gain. So I can select the first channel, hold Shift, select the last one, and then I can uh, control, hold down Control and click. And all of these guys shoot up to 0 dB, which is awesome. So now when I play the track... <laughs> So now I'm in a position where I am ready to start doing my static mix and I can save this uh, and we're ready to rock and roll with this mix. So there you have it. That is gain staging in a nutshell for me using Studio One 4.5. If you're coming from another DAW, it will be, it'll be different if you're doing this in Pro Tools or if you're doing this in Logic or Cubase or uh, Reaper or any of the other 250,000 DAWs that there are available nowadays and I am absolutely certain that in the comments below you are going to post your DAW that I didn't mention. <laughs> you might not and that's okay. But there we have it. That's gain staging uh, super quick, super easy in Studio One 4.5. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.